Welcome to the homework for lesson 9. This is module 6 of 3rd grade. Name first, please. I like to remind everybody of that right in the beginning because I know a lot of times 3rd graders will turn in homework without their names and they don't get credit because you just don't forget, you just don't remember to do it. You think you're going to do it later and you don't remember. Well, sometimes you do, but a lot of times 3rd graders don't. The table below shows the amount of money Danielle saves for four months. So here are the months she saved, January, February, March, and April, and the money she saved for each month. Create a picture graph below using the data in the table. So now we have this thing, it's all set up for us, right? So it looks like there's money saved here. The categories, we have blanks for the names of the months. January, February, March, and April. So let's just put those in first. And I'm going to write abbreviations. January, February, March, April. Create a picture graph. Okay, so the we want, what do we have here? Oh, look at this. What, you might recognize this right off and say that, oh, here's nines, 9, 18, 36, and 27. And just You might recognize, if you know your nines, which you should by now, those are all multiples of 9. So you could make, um, you, you could make a pictograph that's a key for 9. That could work. Uh, if you do it 1 equals each you, you draw say we're drawing circles and you do one for each dollar and you do it one to one like that you're going to have to make 36 circles going up just for march and that's i don't know if that's going to fit on the page that's a lot of circles to draw and i don't know if i'm going to get the count right by the time i end up drawing all of those circles my hands are going to get tired so i don't want to do it one for one so maybe you, uh, so i'm going to draw circles or, you know, I could draw X's or whatever I want, right? Um, I could draw dollar bills. Okay, I'll draw dollar bills. It's a pictograph, right? So I want it to look like money, so I'm going to make it... Uh, uh. I'll do that. So each one of those is how many dollars? Well, we just see that these are all multiples of nine, so we could use that. And if you didn't know, and if you didn't notice that, that's fine. If you have a different key that works, okay. You could do it by twos. You could do it by fives. But then you'd have to draw fractions of whatever your unit is. So you look at your look at what your numbers are, and if it does work out that you have a you have a common factor for all of them, then you have you know what your unit can be, and it's pretty convenient for this one. Like if you, one thing, if you see they're all even numbers, well then you can use twos or maybe fours or eights, depending on what the numbers are. So look at the numbers and see if there's something that's going to work out. And in this case, nines work out fantastically well. So if each one is nine, January gets one of these. And I could make it a I could make it a nine dollar bill. But I'm not going to, let's see, February would get two of those because that's two, 18 is two nines. Well, that was a little tall. We want our picto, our picto things to be their units, so they should all look about the same as we can get them. February gets two. March gets four. Because it's nine... 18, 27, 36, and then April is 27, so that's going to be 9, 18, 27. All right, good. And you can see that, like, that recognizing that we could use nines made this a lot easier. So that's just one of the things to look for when you're looking at your data. Look at what the numbers are and 
You know, you could have done this with fives or tens and drawn fractions of dollars, but it really would have been hard to make it make sense. And it would have been very difficult to read because the fractions you'd have to draw these dollars if you're using tens. You know, for 27, I'd have to draw two whole tens and then something that looks like seven tenths of a bill. And it's just really hard to get it to work out in a pictograph. You don't want it to have to maybe halves. You know, you can figure out what those are. Use a table or graph to answer the following questions. How much money does Danielle save in the four months? Well, let's see. We're counting the nines, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten nines. So that's uh, ten times nine. Which is, I said, oh, yeah, because that's an easy one, right? Ninety dollars. Danielle saved $90. How much more does Danielle save in March and April than in January and February? Well, March and April is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's seven nines. So... I could actually this would be kind of neat. I'll draw a number bond for this. And I can label this March and April. Right, and that was seven nines. Yeah, seven nines. And three nines for January and February. And this is just Danielle's money. All right, so seven nines, seven times nine equals sixty three, three times nine equals twenty seven. So, what's the difference? How much more? Uh, and please don't go like this. <laughs> I mean, take the time to just draw this. Take the time to do because to, sixty-three. Don't you don't recycle parts of equations like that. It just makes everything very confusing and difficult to read for somebody who wasn't inside your head when you did it. So looking at this, gotta unbundle or regroup a 10 and so now that's 13 13 minus 7 and this is 5 tens left so 13 minus 7 is 6 5 minus 2 is 3 36 or if you're looking at this the difference between 7 minus 3 is 4 nines and you could also just you could also have skipped all this and just wrote, written 4 nines or 7 minus 3 equals 4 4 times 9 equals 36 you could have done that too Either one of those ways would have been fine. And maybe there's an even better way that I didn't think of that you did. Danielle combines her savings from March and April to buy books for her friends. Each book costs $9. Oh, isn't that convenient? How many books can she buy? Now, look at my number bond. This makes it so much easier, right? Because we just look at it. March and April is seven nines. So we could say seven nines. equals seven books and just to make this a little more complete I'm gonna say Uh, 
uh, March. I can make a little number bond. Because March was what? One, two, three, four, nines, and April was three. Don't have enough room there. That's April. That's March. Danielle earns $33 in June. She buys a necklace for $8. And 33 is not a multiple of 9. It's wrecking my, my system here. Danielle earns 33 in June. She buys a necklace for $8 and a birthday present for her mother. She saves the $13 she has left. How much does the birthday present cost? Now, it doesn't say here. But I'm going to assume that she didn't spend all of her money, all of the rest of her money besides the 13 on the uh, on the birthday present. I'm going to assume that she only spent the $33 in June on her birthday present. So this is how much money. That's how much money she saved in June. And the whole thing is $33, right? And there's parts to this, right? So there's an $8 necklace. And there's 13 that she has left. And this is the present. So now how do I figure that out? So what's the 8 plus the 13? So if I figure out this part here, then I can subtract that from the 13 and figure out what's missing. So that's 8 plus 13 equals 21. And 33 minus 21, those are really easy numbers to work with because I can see those ones will work out. 3 minus 1, that's 2, so it's going to be 12. And so I can say the birthday present. Was $12. Now before I finish up, I want to check... Let me check to make sure that I finished everything I was supposed to finish. Uh, let's see up here. Well, hopefully you got your name. Uh, okay, I remember the key and the labels. And okay, I got number sentence. And oh, I'm you know what I'm missing for part B here of number two. Uh, I'm missing uh, an answer statement. I've got all this stuff here, but I didn't actually write down what the answer was. Uh, she saved how much more? She saved 36 more dollars. Well, I don't have to write dollars because that's in the dollar sign right there. Let me erase the word dollars. More in March and April. Sorry about the mess there and how I had to squeeze that in, but there's not a lot of room there. And sometimes that, that's, that's what you have to do is you got to squeeze it in. 
Let me make sure I wrote answer statements for these other ones. Danielle can buy seven books. Yep, birthday present was 12. Good, so I answered everything. 